Hello, YouTube. It's been a while. It's now the 22nd of February and I've made one video all year. I just needed a bit of a break, if I'm honest. Not just from YouTube, but generally from just doing stuff. I hadn't had a week off work since September last year. Um, and on top of work, like every week, I had the Scout for Girls tour in October, November last year, which was pretty darn full on. And then obviously Christmas came around and it got to January and I was just knackered constantly because uh, I hadn't had a break and I had a week off work last week which was wonderful, well needed and I'm all good. I've had a rest <laughs> which is feeling lovely right now. I feel recharged, ready to go. So here we are, we're back. But anyway, um, yeah, today's video is inspired <laughs> by work. So I currently work in retail um, and I have worked in other retail jobs before my current one as well and there's just a couple little things I would just like to put on the wider audience of the internet um, of just stuff which I really wish people would stop doing or saying when talking to retail staff. First thing I would like to make people aware of um, because I personally thought it was obvious but apparently to some people it's not. I personally as someone who just works on the shop floor, do not have any say or any control over what we sell, whether an item is in stock, when it's going to be back in stock, whether it's been discontinued, uh, or just whether we sell it at all. So generally speaking, it's not the best thing in the world when someone actually personally has a go at you for not stocking the item that they wish to buy, basically. One of my colleagues actually got yelled at for half an hour, that's half an hour, because apparently we changed suppliers of where we bought a certain item and apparently the new version wasn't as good as the old one. So this customer felt the need to yell at one of my colleagues for half an hour about this and was insistent that we change back to the old supplier. Even the store manager, doesn't get a say in that so I really don't know what they were hoping to achieve there. If you have an issue with supplying send an email to like the head office of whatever business it is. I can't help you there. Point number two this isn't this isn't a big one or I don't know a lot of these things it might seem like I'm just being a bit melodramatic but they're things that happen really regularly. One thing that would make my life so much easier is if people actually look around the shop and actually try to find something before coming to ask me where it is. The amount of times, <laughs> like this is multiple times every day this happens, that people come up to me and go, excuse me, where is this item? And I've literally gone, there. And it's literally next to them because they haven't even bothered to look before asking me. So they go, oh, I'm so silly. It, like, seriously. Obviously it happens sometimes you, you need help finding something because it's in a weird location and not in the section you expect or whatnot. Of course, happy to help, but it just, it's, it's a bit annoying when people don't even bother looking at all. Point number three. So I haven't had this happen to any of my male colleagues actually, which is interesting. However, I've spoken to other female colleagues and this has happened to them as well as me. Uh, please don't flirt with me. You know, for a fact, as a customer, that I can't just tell you to sod off because I would get in trouble for being impolite while I'm at work to a customer. So you know I have to stand there, smile and just take it. Which if you ask me is a bit weird and it only ever happens to be men at least twice my age who flirt with me while I'm trying to work. Not only does that take up my time when I should be working but it's just frankly creepy. Don't do that. That point actually leads me on to my next one, which is please don't touch me. Now I'm aware, that, I know that might sound a little bit snobby or pretentious, like Ugh, don't touch me, but it's weird. You are a complete stranger. Please don't feel the need to grab my arm. It's really weird, creeps me out. And I, uh, no, please just 
there is no need for you to touch me anywhere whatsoever okay so just don't do it next one again might sound a bit weird um but please don't call me by my name i've actually discovered after talking to colleagues about this particular point it's very 50 50 some people don't mind it um but some people like me find it really weird like i'll help a customer in whatever help that they need and then they go oh thank you look down at my name badge and go Kirsty, and I don't know there's just something a bit weird about it I think it's the fact that they know my name which is obviously I don't know personal it's not I'm not just like a faceless employee like they're personally talking to me but I have no idea who they are and that just the the dynamic it's just a bit weird I don't like it so like I said some people don't mind that um I just I find that a bit weird my last point is um probably the biggest one this doesn't happen too often but it happens often enough that I feel the need to mention it in this video of please don't talk to me like this which is just straight up screaming and yelling at me it's not pleasant I know for a fact that I have never ever done anything at my job which is so ridiculously awful that it requires a customer to be so outraged they scream at me. I had this one customer particularly who sticks out in my mind where a particular item was in her view incorrectly priced and this item in particular happened to be about 30p over what she expected it to be and what all that happened was there were two products in boxes next to each other and the pricing had just gone a little bit askew and this customer felt the need to literally drag me over to said product literally stand there and scream at me personally insult me tell me that the pricing was like disgusting I need to sort it out and for me personally I really 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 do not like conflict like I was <laughs> I was ready to just start crying at her but luckily I kept it together which was I'm actually quite proud of that as well <laughs> but literally she properly laid into me literally was screaming right up here in my face completely melodramatic um, and obviously I'm aware this case is a bit more extreme this doesn't happen every day but like I said it happens often enough for me to mention it obviously this woman was having a bad day um she must have been going through some stress or something in her personal life i don't know i just had to stand there and take it but if you could really refrain from taking out whatever it is going wrong in your life on me over something being 30p too much that would be really appreciated also considering I didn't even work in said section she was moaning about so I didn't even price that but yeah that was obviously a more more melodramatic out there case however I do get called every name under the sun for things that a aren't my fault like if something's out of stock I'll get called a name if something has moved and people can't be bothered to walk across the shop and they're un unimpressed that they have to walk further I'll get called a name if sometimes I don't know if we sell a particular item uh, I'll get called a name and literally got called useless once before that was pleasant but yeah just generally if people could remember that we're people we're not just random faceless robots that work um, that would be really really nice and to be honest these were the points that i just thought of off the top of my head in the past five minutes there will probably end up being a how not to treat retail staff number two video at some point in the future i guarantee <laughs> i feel like this video has been a bit negative um so i do want to stress not all customers are like this this is like the 10 percent however it does happen a lot very frequently but yeah thank you for listening to this big rant basically is what this is and i am looking forward to making more videos again in the future because i have missed this and i have a nice big um bunch of video ideas coming up as well which i'm looking forward to doing so yeah i will see you soon bye